today's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are in Before tuning into today's video, my name is Brittany. For those that are new, I am an artist, designer, and muralist. I would like to share a bit of the materials that I will be using throughout the printing process. So I do have my own printer. It's a Canon Pro 200. Yeah, it's Canon Pro 200. And then I have a... Uh, cutting board. Um, I am planning on investing into a larger one because um, I do plan on making larger prints and I, for the life of me, cannot cut a straight line with a scissor on paper. So yeah, this has been helpful. But yeah, I think there's more on Walmart or Amazon, so I may have to invest into that. And don't mind the, the commotion in the background. My husband's playing Apex. So, um, oh, I think someone's biting me. Nothing too out here is mosquito. Like once it gets muggy, mosquitoes are just like attacking. But yeah, and then I do have some uh, paper that I use. I usually get my paper from either Hobby Lobby, Michaels, or uh, Blick. For example, I use this. So I'm using this Strathmore mixed media for my prints. And, you know, I, I do see that a few artists already have, like, uh, they, they order paper online. But I really, I just love the overall, like, from scratch thing. I like to do things on my own. It makes it more personal. And I just want the extra work. It's weird. But call me weird, but it is what it is, right? So um, I'm running out of paper, actually. I have to get more. If you guys can see, there's, like, none left in here because literally all I use is this paper to make prints. And I've also gone through a lot of like, uh, you know, really bad prints, like wasted so much paper. Um, but I am turning those into like five by fives, which I'm gonna be showing you guys. Um, but anyway, so the paper that I'm using is a Strathmore Mixed Media and it is a 400 series and it is a, it's 184 pounds and it also has a GM of 300, which is really good because it's really thick. And the printer that I have is a Canon Pro, so whenever I do print out my, when I make my prints, they come out so crisp, and the tones are just amazing, they're perfect. And um, for the actual designs, I transfer the patterns that I have from my sketchbook onto Photoshop, color in Photoshop, and then I'll print it out onto the paper. So yeah, it does take some time for me to actually like get a design on there, add the colors, or actually try and figure out what colors I want in the design so yeah it gets pretty difficult but over time it gets easier um but i do have i'm working on incorporating more color and pack. so that's basically this is what i use for paper and in terms of packing i do not have a specific way of packing my prints um actually i think i do but recently i have ran out of like packing seeds and you guys haven't seen my tiktok video i went to michael's quick story um, I went to Michael's and they did not have any packing sleeves. So I was like, okay, let's get innovative here. Let's get creative and let's find another way to print, to, to get some uh, sleeves for the prints. So my smart self went over to the scrapbooking section and seeing that they had 12 by 12 uh, scrapbooking material. So I basically took out the material and I saved it. I didn't throw it away. I saved it and I used the plastic. But yeah, I it was really ghetto, but you know, I have to do what I have to do. You know, it worked out just fine. The only thing that uh, you would have to, if you do decide to um, to do this, I do recommend getting like a sticker with your logo on it and then just placing it above. Okay, so this clip and I thought I was recording, but literally I was talking for about 15 minutes and it cut off about five minutes of video. So uh, for some reason, I can't find that clip anywhere. So let's get straight to the video. <laughs> so right now I am cutting the prints to five by five. And this cutting board I did get from Michaels. It was $20. And this is my first ever cutting board. I've never got one before, so it was very helpful to cut some really even lines. I tried cutting, cutting prints on my own with a scissor, but I cannot for the life of me get a straight line. So this was definitely something that I um, loved using, and I do recommend it if you do want to do small prints. Uh, yeah, so right now I am let's transfer my designs into Illustrator. That way I can use the line tool and then once I'm done with the line tool, I go into Photoshop and I end up coloring it. So right now I'm vibing, just hanging out and having some fun as I'm working. I like to put on some really nice music as I work just so I can get in the mood. And right now I am back on Photoshop 
getting ready to uh, set up some things and make sure that the settings are correct so in terms of the color and making sure that it comes out uh, correct I always check the settings on Photoshop and adjust as much as possible so that way I can get a really nice clean print so for printing settings the file has to be at what the paper you're going to use so for example on Photoshop I I'm not sure if you guys can see right there it's very large which means that I have to make the file smaller so I forgot that the file that had made the uh, art on was a 10 by 10 which isn't good because my print is at 5 by 5 so I had to readjust the size back to 5 by 5 and then transfer my design over to that new size and then readjust the settings that way so yeah that's something to keep in mind when you're making a print because if you do not print it the size of the paper that you're using it will come out very uneven or it'll just not in total probably put that part out yeah so you really want to make sure that your settings are correct and make sure that your colors are also set to the correct settings and then you'll be good to go so this process usually takes me about 10 minutes because as i stated earlier I usually just transfer my designs from my sketchbook to Illustrator and create symbols and patterns and then um, save them into a folder so that by the time I want to add some color and make some prints I can do that and then start printing so yeah it's very easy for me I don't have I don't really have to build these from scratch especially since I've already done them so right now I am headed to the printer because I want to make sure that my settings are correct I check the uh, I changed the paper because there were there were some 8x5x11s by by and one thing I love about this printer is that it prints from really small I believe 4x6 to a 10 or 12x12 12 12. I'm not sure maybe I'm wrong um, but uh, this printer is amazing and it makes my prints look so beautiful and as you guys can see it is printed and I made sure that everything was together. The paper is very thick and clean and smooth. It's perfect for small frames, especially the 5x5 five 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 print. I, that's my favorite. I have uh, just started making the 5x5s five five and you know I do plan on making a Patreon soon so that will be part of the gifts that I'll be giving my Patreons. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, so uh, if you guys have any questions on this video or if I should make another one, please let me know. For some reason, I every time I try and record a video here on YouTube, something happens and oh my god, I don't know what it is. It's just bad luck for me. Like I, I thought in the beginning of the clip when I just interrupt you guys, I was like, I thought I had recorded every single thing but then it cut off at 11 minutes and I think I was recording, I thought I was recording for 15 minutes. So yeah, that happened and yeah, so that video is... Uh, turn short now but I'm happy that I was able to briefly explain to you guys how I make the prints but if you guys want a really more detailed video on it I will do my best to do that for you guys and post it here on my channel but for the meantime if you guys are currently making prints if you guys want to share your experiences and overall your process or any questions actually just let me know down below in the comment section and also remember to like share and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon bye